what's going on boys it is team of the season time so be sure to head on over to aoea.com and use DRG for a discount for the cheapest coins around all links down below what's going on lads and welcome back to some more FIFA 18 content where today we're taking a look at some more massive transfers that are going around at the minute so starting off with Man City who seem to be starting to get a little bit busy in the transfer market so just confirmed they have signed Ederson from Ben Fika, a goalkeeper of course, if you didn't know that, I haven't known a lot about him to be honest, but they have spent I think £37 million on him, which is pretty expensive for a goalkeeper. Now, I think this kind of relates to when I was talking about Liverpool signing Van Dijk, because yes, we were talking about spending £60 million on him, but that was a gap we really had to fill. Now, it's all messed up at the minute, whether that's gonna change, I have no idea. But to spend 60 million on a position that really has to be sorted before the start of the season, I kind of understood it. And I think the same for City because, you know, they have Caballero there, who's, I think Caballero's all right, to be honest. And then they've got Bravo, who was a complete disaster when he came in. So goalkeeping wise, they had to bring in somebody. Now, whether this guy is the real deal, whether he's going to sort out the team, I have no clue because I have not seen a lot of him. But for 34, it's 34 to 37 pounds they've spent. That's a lot of money. So again, it's a lot of pressure for City to get it right this time with a goalkeeper. So only time will tell. But for City fans, it could be a little bit exciting because, as I say, a position that needed to be sorted. So sticking with Manchester City, they're also linked now with Bertrand at left back, who I think would be a fantastic signing for City. They really need a left back as well. So the good thing for City fans is they seem to be really targeting the areas that they need. So left back was a must, goalkeeper was a must, I've not seen a price range for Bertrand yet. I would imagine they're going to pay at least 15, 20 million for him. I think he's a terrific left back and very, very consistent. So again, exciting times, whether it happens or not, it seems likely, but again, with time will only tell, but exciting times for City in the transfer market. It's still early days, but if they can fill in those two positions that I think were really important, they're looking pretty good. So a couple of interesting transfer rumors coming out from Chelsea. And the first one is Diego Costa, who has pretty much been told he is no longer wanted at Chelsea. Now, we all know Costa is a bit of a loose cannon. He can be the most hated man around at times, but I like him. I think he's a fantastic footballer. I do think he calmed down a lot this season, just gone. And now he seems to be stuck in kind of no man's land because he was linked with China, he ruled that out. And he, he did say the only club he would go back to is Atletico Madrid who we all know have picked up a transfer ban, so they can't sign players, they can't sign Costa, and then Conte rings up or messages Costa to say you're no longer wanted at the club. So I really do feel sorry for him because, I mean, Conte knows he only wants to go back to Atletico, which he can't do now, so where does Costa go from here? Can he dig his heels in and not move, refuse to be sold? I don't know whether he would do that, but I don't know where he's gonna go. He's already said Atletico is the only place he wants to be, or Chelsea, so it's a tough one. So where he ends up, I have no idea, but it's not looking like it's going to be at Chelsea. So the knock-on effect for that leads into the next transfer rumour for Chelsea, which is Lukaku. Could he be heading back to Chelsea? It seems a bit of a coincidence to me that a few days ago, he came out and said his future is decided. He knows where he's going to be playing his football. And then a few days after that, we get Costa has been told he is no longer wanted at Chelsea. I'd be surprised if he doesn't end up back at Chelsea. This is Lukaku. And I think that one could happen. I think it'd be a very, very good signing for Chelsea to get him back. Similar player to Costa, very strong, terrific shot on the ball. And I think he's only going to thrive at a bigger club like Chelsea. No offence to Everton, but to put Lukaku from Everton into Chelsea, I think he could just only improve as a player. So there's been no shortage of transfer rumours from Liverpool, and it still continues now, because now we've been rumoured to be signing Gelson Martins from Sporting Lisbon. Who again is not a player I know a lot about. I've seen him a couple of times, but have no idea what kind of player he is. Now I did send out a tweet yesterday because I was concerned why we have dropped interest in uh, Salah for because they want 35 million pounds. But this guy I think has a release clause of 40 to 45 million. Now for me, I paid 35 million for Salah, who's proved what he can do in the previous season. Martin scored a lot, I think a quarter of the amount of goals as Salah did, and I think Martins would be in a lesser league. So it's a strange one for me that we're seemingly willing to buy out Martins from Sporting Lisbon, 
which would be a lot more expensive than just giving 35 million for Salah. It's a strange one. Liverpool in the transfer market are a disaster in my opinion. But as I said, I did tweet about this Martins lad yesterday saying I was concerned about Salah deal being off and Martins coming in. And there was actually somebody that follows me that is a fan or a supporter of Sport in Lisbon and said this Martins guy is a fantastic player. He's saying he's their best player and he would be absolutely gutted if he left. So that kind of gave me a little bit of hope if there's a fan that sees him on a regular basis saying he's an incredible player. I just don't know. For me, not knowing a lot about Martins, I would much prefer to pay less money for Salah. But, you know, we've been seemingly scouting this Martins ad for the whole season, so I assume they know what they're doing. But why not go for him first if he's a better player than Salah? It's confusing. Because if he's not a better player than Salah, then you're going to pay 35 million for Salah than spend a lot more on a lesser player. You know, to me that makes common sense. Buy the player you wanted first for less, or the second choice player for more. Liverpool are just a joke at the minute in the transfer window, and it's not fun being a Liverpool fan right now. And the final transfer rumour going around is Manchester United have put in a bid for Morata from Real Madrid. 52 million, I think, was rumoured what they offered, and from what I've seen, Real wanted 75 million. If it's 75 million, I would not go there. I think that's far too expensive. 50 million, to be honest, the way the transfer market is gone, it's probably about right. The only thing you would say is he doesn't play for Real Madrid. He sits on the bench, which isn't the, the biggest insult in the world when you've got the likes of Benzema up there as well. But 50 million, yes, 75 million, I think is ridiculous but only time will tell. It looks like the deal could go ahead, so I would imagine they probably will play 50, 55 million for him. Those are the big transfer rumors flying around at the minute. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and of course, I'll talk to you all next time. Take care, cheerio.